Number crunching may not be what first comes to mind when you think of traditional firefighting duties, but a new report out is highlighting the importance of data analysis. And Chief Britta Horn is here with the information in the upcoming Gold Ribbon Report. Thanks for your time this morning. Thanks for having me. Let's get started and kind of set the stage with what specific data your report examines. So the data that we're looking for for volunteer and combination departments, we call it like a lot of times of combo, is just how to break down all the information and all the different data and what's important to make your, your department run better. So we're gonna have this report, it should be out in November, we're hoping at a symposium in the sun. And it's about before the wheels are turning, think of a fire truck. Before okay. the wheels are going, you know, going out to the call, what kind of data do you need? So we're gonna be breaking down like training and responsibilities, you know, your demographics or your community, your geographical locations, you know, what's important before you roll out to the call. Okay. And then the second part is gonna be while the, the, the wheels are turning. So as we're going out, we're looking for call response, we're mm -hmm. looking for turnout times, we're looking for times, you know, where are we going and what type of um, um, places that we're going in our, in our community that we're, we serve. And then when the truck comes back to the station, when the wheels stop turning, then we start looking at the call, you know, response, the actual call uh, information. We're going to keep, you know, start gathering data about what's important. What did we answer to? So then once you've gathered all of those data points, how do you use that to determine, I guess, the value of a department? And how do you classify value? <laughs> right. Okay, so you're right. When I hear value, I'm going, are you talking about the cost of all the inventory, the cost, of, you know, to the community, right. the cost of all the, you know, everything you have to put together. We were volunteer, you have combination, you have labor. What's the cost? Or are you looking at the value as, as a fire Chief, I want to make sure the volunteers are trained correctly, that we have the, you know, the right certifications, that there, there's enough volunteers. They're always you know, recruiting and retention, keeping everybody to stay at the department so that everybody can make that call. Because even for example, for us, we have the Amtrak comes through us by the Colorado River. And one year we found out we had over 11 calls from the Colorado, I mean, from the Amtrak. It was just like, you know, different types of calls, okay. but it was just interesting that that was our number one call type. Huh. And you wouldn't know that if you weren't gathering your data. Okay. Interesting. So in addition to, to those, you know, ways that you can improve or I guess determine value of departments, you can also take that data and use it to help improve departments by setting goals or setting benchmarks. Exactly. Exactly. Not only that, but also to find out your gap analysis, your needs assessment. What are you missing? And that, you know, that's better, for, that's good for the department. It gets the department to grow, find out what trainings you still need or when's the last time we did a training like that. So is this data only beneficial to a department and say to you, or is this data also useful to the general public? Oh, absolutely to the general public, because the more that the fire department can do this, they can, like you said, find out where, what needs need to be met. And then also going to the public, you have all this information to speak to them to say we, we need this city council we need to work on that county commissioners so there's just a lot of different places where we're being able to use this information and then make it better and better and so rest assured public we're doing everything we can to to serve serve the needs and show the public look at all of the amazing things we did for you you know right. during this time period that. yeah exactly um, okay so as you mentioned this uh, report is upcoming when is it coming right. out like I said we're looking at November now to make okay. sure and, and release it when we're all down it for VCOS has our Okay. our annual convention down in Clearwater, Florida. So we'll be down there, suppose even the sun in November. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for all your work on this report and we look forward to reading it. All right. Thank you.